guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fall candle haul. I also have some soap, some body care, and some pocket bags to go through. So yes, this is kind of like a collective haul. I have like a few different, um, like I've like combined the um, trips that I've gone to into this haul video. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start off with the wood grain candles first. So this is what they look like. The first scent I have here is a Golden Citrus. I bought this the weekend when the candles were $12.50. So, got this one for $12.50. Golden Citrus has this, like, nice wood grain to it. Um, it's like a sticker, so not the best quality, but, you know. Um, the notes are Sparkling Mandarin, Warm Cedar, and Golden Amber. So, mmm. Mm, I love this scent, guys. Um, it's a total repackage of the scent Autumn Sunshine from last fall, which I don't have with me. But, um, yes, yeah, so you get kind of like a super citrusy, like, cologne scent. And you also get, like, an outdoorsy note. Um, it says, um, amber, definitely get amber, like the sparkling amber candle. Warm cedar, not as much, but you just kind of get, like, a cologne kind of scent. Um, something, like, spicy in there. So yeah, I love Golden Citrus, and I really like the packaging on these. And the next one that I have is Vetiver Sandalwood. So there's that one. This one has like a white kind of wood look to it, which I love. Um, mm. The notes on this one are Vetiver Grass, Velvety Sandalwood, and Warm Musk. So this reminds me a lot of the Black Tea Rose Candle, if you ever smelled that one. Um... Yeah, you just kind of get like a cedar smell to it, almost like a hamster cage or whatever you want to call it. A lot of people were saying that this one is a repackage of um, Sandalwood and Suede from last fall. Um, that was a weird scent. Like, it never... Not the scent was weird. I never smelled it. But um, besides this, because it's supposed to be a repackage. But um, it didn't come to any stores near me. It was supposed to be like a White Barn exclusive. But some people saw it in Bath & Body Works. I don't know. It was like a whole epidemic with that candle. But, um... Apparently, this is a repackage, but obviously, I can't attest to that or not. Um, yeah, but you get, like, a... Just a cedar kind of cologne scent. Um, like I said, similar to Black Tea Rose. And also, um, the... The Winter Cedar Candle. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. And then, next, I grabbed the Hey Honey Honeyed Pear Candle. So, there it is. It has this... Let me clean off the lid because it's kind of, like, fingerprinty. But, um, it has the lid that says, eat dessert first. So, that's what that looks like. My, mine's, of course, kind of crooked. But, um, the notes on this are warm poached pear, buttery caramel, and honey nectar. So, mmm. Mmm. Oh, my God. I love this scent. Um, okay. So, when I smelled this at the test store, it smelled different. Like, I didn't get any, like, kind of bakery from it. I just got, like, a weird, like, honey and, like, like a sweeter, um, honey scent. Like, um, the sweet honeybee candle. It was kind of like that. And, um, this, like, version that has, like, they filled in the white background and they gave it this new lid. And this is the, like, version that went wide. Even though some stores saw the version without this white background, I don't know what's going on with that, but this smells different than it did to me in test. So with this, you get like an unlisted kind of like buttery, like flaky pie crust note that's in berry waffle cone, warm apple pie, even the pumpkin pie candle. Um, trying to think what else. That's all I can think of right now. But you get that and you also get the honey just a little bit, not like much. And you also get the caramel and the, like the fruity, like apple slash pear you get, like, so many notes in this scent. I really like it. It's, like, a... Just a mixture of, like, so many notes. And I really like it because it's, like, super complex and everything. So, yeah. <sighs> Love this scent. So, that is Hey Honey Honeyed Pear. Then, um, I got the Rose Three Wick. So, there's the packaging on that. I just love the packaging on the Elements Collection. And it comes with the nice rose gold, like, hammered kind of lid. So, the bottom of this one says, made with lemon and orange essential oils, which is, okay, I am totally, like, not in frame. But, um, the, like, what it says on the bottom is so random. It's so random on, like, every candle in this collection. I don't even know. Mm. But, if you haven't heard, this is pretty much a repackage of the Amsterdam Spring Tulips. Amsterdam Tulips and Windmills Flower Shop Candle. Um, yes, so many people have addressed this before me. But, um... 
Yeah, I agree. There's just, like, maybe, like, a few similar or few, like, little differences, um, that is in this one. But, I mean, like, really, <laughs> for all intents and purposes, this is just pretty much a repackage of the Amsterdam candle, so yes. And then the last, um, three candles that I have are from the White Barn Core collection. And the first one is Crisp Morning Air. So there it is. Has this, like, north... <laughs> okay, that was a fail. Um, this nice, like, dark green glass to it. And the notes on this one are crisp fall breeze, white oak, golden amber wood, saffron, and soft sandalwood. So, a bit of a history on this scent. It first came out as this name in, like, a hand cream and a hand soap, I'm pretty sure. Which, it's, like, a total different scent. It's, like, an apple, kind of, like, musky, like, fall scent. But this is just, like, a, a cologne scent. Like, it's just a very intense, like, citrusy, cologne, peppery, like, masculine fragrance. Which is, like, totally different from the hand cream slash hand soap. And, yeah, you get, like... Pretty similar to the flannel candle, actually. You get, like, a very intense, like, citrus, woodsy, um, spicy cologne scent. Um, yeah. So that is Chris Morning Air. Love the look of that one. And then next up, I have Cranberry Woods. So I'll let it, like, focus on that. Um, this one has, like, a dark red jar. I noticed online the Cranberry Woods 3-Wick has, like, a, it looks like it's pink glass, but it's not at all. I mean, maybe it's different when you order it online, but I can't see why. I mean, like, in person, it looks super red. So, the notes are tart cranberry, cinnamon bark, forest cedar, and golden amber. So, mm. I don't know how I feel about this scent. Um, I smelled it last fall, and I didn't really like it. And I smelled it this fall, and I didn't really like it, but I still bought it anyway. And I don't hate the scent, but it's just not really my kind of thing. It's kind of similar to the Frosted Cranberry Candle, if my memory serves me right. Um, to me, it just comes off kind of like a cheap um, berry scent, kind of like plasticky. But you also do get like a, like a cinnamon in the background and like a woodsy cologne. So... I don't know. It's it's an okay scent. I don't love Cranberry Woods, but I figured I would go ahead and get it just to have it in my collection because it's like such a, it's just a scent that really everybody loves. So that was Cranberry Woods. And lastly, I have a Sunlit Cedar. I love the packaging on this one. It has like the gold Bath and Body Works lid and like the really like thick marbling. This one's kind of like bluish greenish. Love it to death. I love this packaging. So, um, the notes on this one are fresh cut cedar, eucalyptus, and cypress leaves. This scent, like, was so weird to me. Um, it's just not what you think. Yeah. There's nothing cedar about it. There's nothing like that hamster cage kind of note that you might pick up in vetiver sandalwood or black tea rose or winter cedar or any of those candles. You don't get any of that in here, um... To be honest with you, the candle it smells most like, to me personally, is mahogany teakwood. Which I'm not complaining about. I actually almost, like, um, last night, um, I exchanged for this candle because the, um, the candles this weekend were buy two, get two, which, um, I'm, like, too poor to buy four candles at one time, honestly, like, at the time being. But yeah, um, so I exchanged for this candle and I really almost got a mahogany teakwood, but I smelled all of them in the store. And it was, like, not the mahogany teak wood that I remember, if that makes any sense. Like, it smelled kind of plasticky and weird. But this smelled way better. So, it also kind of reminds me of the Mineral Springs candle. In the sense, it's kind of that, like, minty, like, earthy, outdoorsy kind of scent. Yeah. But, I mean, for the most part, it really smells like mahogany teak wood to me. So... If you want to get Mahogany Teakwood with, like, a little twist, totally grab Sunlit Cedar. And that is all of the candles that I got. So, seven candles in this, um, in this, um, little haul. And then, next, I'm going to show you some fall body care. So, I grabbed, first off, Bright Autumn Blooms. Here's a close-up on that. And I also grabbed Spiced Pumpkin Cider. Um, so, I had, like, two of the little... $6 Fine Fragrance Miss coupons. So I decided to go ahead and use those. Um, 
First off, we'll talk about Bright Autumn Blooms. I like the packaging on here. I mean, like, it's not the best. Um, the price is $13.50 on these, and it is six fluid ounces compared to, like, eight of the normal fragrance mists. I don't know. I don't really care, but I really enjoy the sprayers on these. Like, the little... Or, they're, they're the exact ones used on the travel size mists. And, like, when you spray them, it puts out, like, way more actual liquid, if that makes any sense. Like... Could you see that? I don't know. But, um, okay, this scent, um, is really good. So, it reminds me of, like, the sensual amber kind of scent. You get that. Mixed with, like, a little bit of, like, perfuminess. Um, it's pretty generic for the most part. Like, body care perfume. Amber kind of scent, but I really like it. So, that is Bright Autumn Blooms. Sorry. I get so thirsty making videos. I don't know why. Is it that I talk too fast or I don't know but that was bright autumn blooms um something funky about these is that they say fine fragrance mist like in the middle and then the name of the scent down here which is like that's so weird like just swap those two but anyway the next one that I grabbed was spiced pumpkin cider and this one has some like pumpkins on there with the blue little ribbon and so spiced pumpkin cider smells like Cinnamon sugar donut and bergamot waters to me. I have no idea, like, where that comparison comes from. But, like, I'm not, like, saying that. Like, it literally smells like cinnamon sugar donut and bergamot waters, like, had a child. <laughs> and it was a spice pumpkin cider in the body care. So, yeah. Totally, you get that, like, um, cinnamon, um, kind of, like, bakery, like, cake donut scent from the cinnamon sugar donut aspect of this scent and you also get like the citrusy like cologne slash perfume like unisex scent from bergamot waters and um if you hadn't heard like bergamot waters is totally a dupe of the dolce and gabbana light blue perfume so if you want something like that with a little bit of like a fall twist to totally grab spice pumpkin cider but those are the two body care scents that I got. Um, also in that collection is Champagne Honey and Apple, which is just like a generic apple scent. And there is Salted Caramel Apricot, which is also a good one. But um, I just got those two. And then next up I have a soap actually, which I rarely haul, but um, this is Spiced Apple Bourbon, which I paid full price for, what can you do? Um, I mean, 750 or whatever wasn't that bad. So, um, a lot of people have been comparing this scent to the, um, Berry Pumpkin Strudel Candle, and I absolutely agree 100%. This is totally a dead-on dupe for that scent. So, let me... Okay, guys, I am so sorry. I have no earthly idea what happened with my camera, but it totally, like, messed up my, um, my recording. It just, like, came up black in iMovie, so I don't know what happened. But the Spiced Apple Bourbon Soap definitely is a dupe for the Berry Pumpkin Strudel Candle. I know there was some batch variation with the Berry Pumpkin Strudel 3 Wick last fall. So that might be, like, why some people are not smelling it like most people are smelling the Berry Pumpkin Strudel Candle. But, you know, um, at least I get, like, a <clears throat> kind of like a cinnamon um, apple scent. But there's, like, some kind of, like, light bakery in the background and a little bit of, like, um... Uh, you know, just like a tart berry. So that's what I get from the Spiced Apple Bourbon Soap. Again, sorry for the editing failure. So, yeah. And then lastly, I just have two pocket bags to show you all. First off is Ginseng Tea. This pocket bag is amazing, you all. Absolutely love it. You get like a lemon kind of tea, kind of like the tea and lemon candle. But there's something more like herbal about this one. So that is Ginseng Tea. And next up is the Make S'mores Not War. And this one is an actual, like, a dead-on dupe for the Marshmallow Fireside Candle. So, yeah, this one smells exactly like the Marshmallow Fireside Candle. Like, totally dead-on. They hit it with the mark on this one. So, yeah. I really like it, though. Um, the scent, like, works really good in this form. So, yes, that is my entire haul. Um, I hope you all enjoyed watching um, my, like, I've been going just crazy this fall with candles. I think I've already got like 20 or 21 candles from this season alone, which is crazy considering the fact that it's only like August 
21st right now or something. But yes, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.